Hey everyone, this is Jeff with Creative IT Resources. In the beginner our series for renaming SharePoint application databases, we need to cover a few prerequisites. Essentially, we have them down here in the bottom right. Uh, the member that we're going to log in as to perform these functions needs to be a member of the farm administrator SharePoint group, also needs to be a member of the local administrators group, and also needs to be a DB owner for the database which we're going to rename. In this case, you can see here in Management Studio a number of application databases, for example, App Management Service Database. We're going to rename it and remove the GUIDs. So let's take a look at the Farm Administrative Group. Here in the Central Administration, under Security, we want to click on Manage the Farm Administrators Group. We're going to use the SP Admin user, which we use strictly for going in and mod making modifications within the SharePoint Administration. SP Admin is part of that group, which is what we expect. The next thing is, is let's make sure we're part of the Administrators Group for the local server. So let's click Start, right-click Computer, Manage. Let's extend configuration, local users and groups, and select groups, and open up the administrators group. And here, in fact, SP Admin is a member of the administrators group. And the last thing that we want to do is for all these service databases, we want to set the SP Admin user to be a DB owner. This is going to be temporarily. Then when we're done, we're going to remove those permissions for uh, security purposes. So let's extend the uh, security logins and SP Admin. Double click that. We're going to open up user mappings. And for each of these service databases, we're going to highlight it allow DB owner. Let's go to business data connectivity services. Change that to DB owner. Metadata services. DB owner. Now all these are set. I've gone through each of the application databases and I checked the box to the left, select the DB owner. The ones that were only existing currently were SharePoint admin content and SharePoint config. Now we can just select OK. That's all set, and now we're ready to begin.